Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about what is network topology, types of network topology and its differences. So let's get started. What is network topology? In order to form a network, computers and other communicating devices must be interconnected in some layout. The layout of interconnection of devices in a network is called topology. Network topology is how computer connects or relate to one another in a network. Network topologies are of two types. Physical topology and logical topology. Physical topology describes the way how computers and other communicating devices connect with the help of cables. Logical topology. Logical topology describes the way how the data flows from one computer to another within a computer network. So before I will start explaining you different types of topologies, you should know some important terms which we are going to use in our explanation. IP packets. A packet is the unit of data that is routed between an origin and a destination on the internet or any other packet switch network. You will understand this in a simple way. Suppose. I want to send data or information from one computer to another on a computer network or internet the data will not transmit in the same size and format which is there in your computer. The data or information is first divided into small pieces called packets and these packets are routed to the destination computer. These packets contain header and header contain addresses and serial sequence in which packets are reassembled to the destination computer. These packets are packed to form frames. Frames. Frame is a digital data transmission unit in a computer. In a computer network, data transmit from one computer to another in a form of frames. MAC address. A media access control address is a unique identifier assigned to a network interface controller for use as a network address in communication within a network segment. MAC address is a unique address that each and every computer have, which help the computer to communicate in a network. Every computer has a network interface card installed in its hardware and Network interface card has a 6 byte physical address that is MAC address which helps the computer to communicate and connect on the network or internet. The most common computer network used to interconnect physically distributed computers is local area network. Local area network has three main topologies to create a computer network. Bus topology, star topology, ring topology and more other topologies are mesh topology and hybrid topology. Bus topology. In a bus topology, all the computers and devices are connected to a shared central cable called a bus with taps and drop lines. Shared means all the connected computers use the same cable for data frame transmission. Taps are the connectors that connect the drop lines with the central cable. Drop lines are the cables running in between the computer and the bus that is shared central cable. In this topology, if a computer sends a data frame to a second computer, all the other computers connected to the same central cable also receive the data frame. That is, others can hear 
what the first computer is saying. However, only the intended or target computer accept the frames. Others reject the frames by checking the destination MAC address in the receive frame. You will understand by an example. Suppose you are distributing quiz competition prizes as per the result of the competition. So you ask Sham to come on a stage to receive a reward. So only Sham will go and collect the prize. Same is in the case of bus topology. Only that computer accept the frame to whom it is addressed to. Advantages of bus topology. Bus topology has a simple layout and required less cable. It is easy to install and maintain and cost effective. So since bus topology requires less cabling, so it is easy to install and less expensive to implement as compared to other topology. Easy to expand since node may be connected at any point on linear path. So suppose I want to add more computers to expand my network, I can easily add more computers in my bus that is in shared cable. Next, disadvantages of bus topology. In bus topology, limited number of computers can be connected. So with the increase in the length of central cable and the increase in the count of tap, the strength of signal decreases. So only limited number of computers can be connected in a bus topology. In case of main cable or terminal fault, the entire network goes down. So in bus topology, all computers depend on the central cable for data frame transmission. So if the central cable fail, it paralyzes the whole network. That is, bus topology has very little fault tolerance. Detection of fault is quite difficult because there is no centralized control. Security risk also exists. So here in the bus topology, security risk also exists because all the computers can hear and see what others computers are seeing on shared media. Heavy traffic reduces the performance and slower communication. In bus topology, only one computer can transmit the data at a time. So while when one computer is sending a file to a printer, other computers have to wait. If other computer to start sending data at the same time, it will collide and corrupt the whole data in such a case data should be retransmitted. Therefore, more computers are connected to a same central cable, the network will become slower and also increases the chance of data collision. It is one of the reason why bus topology is rarely used in modern computer network. Example of bus topology is Ethernet LAN.